Hello, Piney Ridge Church. You know, last week I mentioned just briefly how excited I am to be uh, heading in uh, to the book of Exodus in a couple of weeks. And I talked about it with a friend on Monday. Uh, on Tuesday morning during the pastor's meeting, Jason asked us what God had been showing us, and so I talked about it then. And then I talked about it with my discipleship group this morning. And so I thought, well, I guess I'll share more with the church in this video. So I just wanted to tell you one of the things that I'm so excited about in studying the book of Exodus, and that is the mighty, awesome, omnipotent, powerful God that rescued this people group, this family that had never been a nation before, out of slavery from the most powerful nation on earth at that time. Uh, soundly defeating their army, rescuing them through the Red Sea and miraculously shepherding them through the desert to the door of the promised land. That's what we're going to be studying in the book of Exodus. And, and the thing that excites me is that this is the same God that is operating today. This is the same God that has shepherded us, shepherded us that are followers of Christ uh, through an exodus, an exodus from the kingdom, the domain of darkness into the kingdom of his marvelous light with a, a leader who is the greater Moses, the King of kings and the Lord of lords. And he has put within us the Holy Spirit of God, the same spirit that raised Christ Jesus from the dead. And, and so what this has been teaching me is, is that I need to be praying more. I need to be praying with more faith you know, I have to confess to you that a lot of times my prayers, I say the words, but but often in my heart, I don't have faith that I really believe that God's going to do what I'm asking him to do. And, and I need to grow, and I think we all need to grow in having a worldview that God, the almighty God, not only is he in control, but that he stands ready to answer our prayers, and that he is strong greater than our sinful desires. He is greater than any opposition we face in this world, and we need to be praying continuously and fervently, praying big prayers, praying for salvation of thousands and thousands of people, uh, praying for our children not only just to, to, to be saved, but to become great warriors in the army of God. Piney Ridge Church, let's be praying, and let's ask God to be to be feeding us and to be um, placing within us more and more faith. You know, when, when I sit around and I'm sedentary, like I've kind of been during this coronavirus, I don't need to eat as much. I need to learn that lesson a little bit better, but you don't need to eat as much when you're not working out. But when you are working really hard and using your muscles, you need to eat more. And, and it's kind of that way with, with our faith muscles that the more we use our faith muscles, the more that God pours into us, the more faith that we have. And so Piney Ridge Church, I just want to encourage you and, and, and to just uh, tell you that God is working on me to be more and more a man of prayer, to be more and more uh, a man who prays with an unquenchable faith in, a, in an omnipotent God. And I want to encourage you to join me in that. On Sunday, Pastor Jason is going to be preaching from Psalm 9. That'll be our second to last uh, message from Psalms, at least during this part of our, our journey through Psalms. And so I want to encourage you to be reading Psalm 9. It's a little bit longer of a psalm. And read it, read it on Saturday. Read it on Sunday morning before he preaches. Talk about it with your family and family worship. And be ready to hear what God has to say to us on Sunday through Pastor Jason. Love you guys. Have a great evening.